Today was the November Microsoft Power BI Day, which is always an exciting day for those of us that follow that. And uh, the Power BI Core Visuals team released three new visual enhancements, uh, the largest of which was an entirely new slicer. I've been using it this afternoon and I have a few thoughts. But first, let me give you a quick demo of how it works. So here I am in the Microsoft Sales and Returns of the 2019 sample. Um, this is a demo Microsoft Power BI uh, file that they have. I've enabled the slicer in the preview settings, and then I've gone ahead and I found it right here, and I've double clicked to add it. So uh, the slicer essentially has a text box, an apply button, a clear button up top, and then a title. Uh, so if I set the title to uh, text, right, or text slicer, I can then go ahead and I can put any text field here over into the date. I was a little disappointed that you couldn't bring over a number. It actually has to be formatted as text, but once you bring over that number, you can then go ahead and you can filter by, in this case, the status. So if I have a little matrix right here and I bring status over into here, I can then type sold, right, and apply, and I'll go ahead and apply it. Or I can, let's see if we can find another status in here other than sold. Sorry, I'm in the visual. I guess these are all sold. Um, or I could type in unsold, right? And it won't find anything. So that's a quick demo. Now let's talk my thoughts. So I've used a third party visual like this to filter on things like order numbers. Uh, so when I initially saw this, I'm excited or was excited, but I think it's missing two key features. The first feature is the ability to do implicit data type conversions. So for example, I would wanna be able to bring over an integer, type an integer into the field, hit search, and then have it implicitly convert that to an integer. The second thing that it's missing is the ability to take a list. So if you think if I had a list of keywords, either separated by commas or a new line, that would be great for if you had to paste a list of order numbers, having it filter all the way down. So that's my thoughts. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about Power BI or Microsoft Fabric or business intelligence in general, please consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. And if you're interested in learning more about me, my LinkedIn is down below in the video description. Uh, feel free to check me out. Thanks.